Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a 2.4 GDI engine that has been used in Hyundai and Kia and you need to remove or replace valve cover guys, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that and one common mistake people make when replacing valve cover that can cost you guys your engine so make sure to stay until the end and we will explain what it is now before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can how we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now if you need to buy any parts tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and supplies from so this is the 2.4 gdi engine that's how it's going to be in your car it has been used in more than 10 hende and kia models guys that's one of one very very popular engine by the way so if you look at it now okay what do we need to do here uh, we need to grab the upper engine cover and just grab and pull out it attaches with four rubber bushings to these four posts right here and make sure that the bushings are not stuck here if they are you need to remove them and install them on the cover so later you can install the cover now in order to remove the valve cover okay whether you're removing the valve cover or replacing a valve cover gasket you need to do quite a bit of work so first you will need to disconnect the uh, uh, the car battery why because you will be disconnecting the fuel lines and you will be leaking fuel and if you have sparks okay you can catch on fire on these modern cars it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can cause damage to the engine computer so we have a special video that explains that and i will put the link in the description of the video below number two guys you gotta make sure that your engine is really cool let it sit overnight because if it's hot and you spill fuel you can catch on fire number three you need to disconnect the low pressure fuel line okay the video is on our channel how to disconnect fuel line on a hyundai check it out it's super simple and it will teach you how to do that if you don't know how to then what else you need to do you need to disconnect okay the wires okay for the pump here okay for the high pressure fuel pump uh, now on the back side you will have a wire for the okay this is for the variable timing solenoid for the exhaust camshaft okay and you're going to pull it this way right here this is the pcv valve okay just grab the holes if you have a clamp you need to remove the clamp and pull it out here you need to remove the safety clip okay on the ignition coils and then if it doesn't want to come out push in then press down and disconnect it you can see it just like that pretty simple be careful not to break those because okay try to disconnect them with your fingers because if you if you break that one okay that safety thing okay your ignition coils may get loose now we're going to disconnect the fuel line right here with a three quarter inch wrench you will always have fuel pressure always use eye protection and gloves guys so be careful because most likely you will leak fuel we may not leak any fuel because we removed the engine okay so uh, probably we leaked all the fuel out because we had a few things disconnected before 10 millimeter socket and we're going to remove okay that wiring harness from the valve cover now so let's go ahead and do that perfect it's loose one more there okay great now you can see it comes to the side like that now we need to remove the fuel pump high pressure fuel pump go a little bit on each side and then remove it all the way that fuel pump will be under pressure because right here the fuel tap it the fuel pump camshaft follower also known as tap it could be on a high point in the camshaft ours is not now uh, i would recommend to inspect your camshaft follower tap it and replace it if you need to we have a special video that explains okay uh, the 2.4 gdi engine noise because of a bad fuel pump so check it out engine noise 2.4 gdi now we'll remove the ignition coils and we just notice now one of them is missing you're supposed to have a okay a bolt right here somebody didn't install it we'll be rebuilding that engine and in the meantime we want to teach you how to do things so we can save you as much money as we can guys perfect now it is right here so let's see what else uh, what else we need to do okay we're going to go ahead and remove all the inner bolts of the valve cover here
All right. Now we can go ahead. Remove these two. Now all the bolts need to come out. Why? Because these bolts will fall and if you drop one in your engine and you don't know about it, you start your engine later guys, okay? And it's somewhere in the cylinder head, you're going to damage your camshafts, your engine, and you will need the engine rebuild or a new engine guys. So always have to be careful not to drop anything, okay, inside. Okay, I got these two. Okay, right there, both of them, they came out. Perfect. <coughs> now, this is the valve cover now. Let's see if we have anything else holding, always inspect. Okay, we have one hose, that is for the air filter. Uh, for the intake hose, that goes, you can see it over the air filter hose. Okay, perfect, we disconnect that one, and now we should be able to grab that one. Uh, the fuel line may be a little bit in the way, so we need to come in an angle and the valve cover comes out just like that. So that's how you guys remove the valve cover. Now when you remove the valve cover, always replace guys your valve cover gasket. It's recommended. This is the valve cover gasket. It comes with another part of the gasket that's part here of the, uh, of the actually, uh, this is around the spark plugs. Okay, this holes right here. And if that valve cover fails, okay, around the spark plugs, you will end up having engine oil in the spark plug well, in the spark plug hole. So always replace the valve cover gasket when you remove the valve cover. We will have the video on our channel about the torque specs, about the valve cover. You need to use the correct torque specs, otherwise you can, guys, okay, break a bolt and destroy your cylinder head again. So uh, that will be on our channel as well. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.